Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video, guys. If you have a BMW, guys, X3 with a six cylinder engine, guys, and you're trying to find where your map sensor is located, if you need to remove it and replace it, we will show you how to do that. You may not even need a new map sensor and we're going to discuss more about that as we go guys so please make sure you watch until the end. Before we start let me introduce you to the channel. Every single car we get at the shop we make at least 200 free repair videos. Why? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can guys. All we need in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video that way we can keep providing that free information to you. If you need to buy replacement parts, tools, map sensor we're going to put the links in the description of the video below guys for your convenience that same engine okay we're going to be talking about the N52 engine guys N52 engine if you have a silver or black valve cover the procedure will be about the same but if you have N52 engine you're, you're trying to do that okay that same engine has been used in BMW X1, X3 3 series, 5 series, even 1 series BMW here in the United States. And if you want to see mechanical videos, how to take things apart, how to do things on that engine, we're going to guys have all that on our main channel, how to repair guys. Okay, we, we have helped more than 69 million people on that channel. So please guys subscribe to the channel as well. Uh, we will find quite helpful information that can save you so much money. Now, that being said, this is your engine valve cover here intake manifold the map sensor is usually located on the intake manifold and it will be towards the very back side of your engine so you need to come this way and if you look at that device right here guys this is your map sensor that's what it looks like it has two screws one on this side one on the other side one wire we need to disconnect the wire first how we do that we push down on the back side on the knob right here and disconnect it it may be stuck now we're going to need a torx 25 star looking bit let me focus quick perfect just like that if you need to buy the tools and parts and new replacement sensor we'll put the links in the description of the video below for your convenience that being said we're going to go ahead and remove the two screws now okay you can see one is out very important guys once you remove the map sensor make sure nothing drops in the intake manifold if something goes in you need to immediately remove the intake manifold before you start your car and get that thing that you drop before it uh, enters the engine because you can severely damage your engine pull it out cover that hole i'll recommend with a rack paper towel or something like that and this is the sensor itself now sometimes when you get a cold for a bad sensor or something like that check the wiring harness make sure it's not loose number two that o-ring okay if it's loose if it's leaking it can uh, cause the same trouble as having a bad sensor sometimes because the reading for the map sensor and the uh, math sensor manifold uh, uh, actually it's the mass airflow sensor and the manifold absolute pressure sensor will not match and that could be because of a bad o-ring as well and we'll have a video how to test them uh, coming very soon guys so hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time